With the new watch kit, it allows you to write apps for the new Apple Watch, which is going to provide you a couple of different ways of writing applications for this watch. For our intents and purposes, a watch is directly connected to an iPhone. You can't have currently an app that exists on its own. You can only have a watch app that is tied directly to the iPhone or the iPad, whatever device that you're controlling this from. You need to download the latest Xcode beta. So you'll go to the developers site of Apple. You'll download the Xcode beta 6.2. If you have issues with this application, you'll note that right now this is in beta and things can change. So you'll open up the new Xcode beta and you'll click create a new Xcode project. Because the watch app exists not on its own, but in tandem with a iPhone app, you'll create a new app. Let's call this app Countdown. You'll make it swift and use the iPhone and you'll click next and you'll click create. Now you have a regular single view application app. Now what you want to do is you want to tie the watch to this application because the watch app will exist in tandem with this application. The way it'll work is the watch app is going to be an extension, literally an extension of this main app. So your code is going to sit on the iPhone. The code for the watch app is going to sit on the iPhone. The user interface and storyboard is going to sit on the watch itself. That way they can work together very closely. You're mainly going to work with a couple of different types of watch apps. Let's talk about two of them. One of them is called the glance and one of them is called the notification. You can think of the glance as being a read-only application, meaning that you can't interact with it. Let's say that you had a running app. The glance in the running app is going to be the users running. They can't pull their iPhone out of their pocket. Instead, they're just going to glance at their wrist. You're going to give them the most pertinent information right there, but they can't touch it. There's nothing to interact with in a glance app. The notification app is one where something is going to pop up and it's going to notify them of something. They may be able to look at it initially and see a little bit of information, then touch the watch itself to drill down to get more information. So let's attach a watch app to this main app itself. So you'll click File, New, Target. You'll see the watch app is now available, which it wasn't before. You'll click Next. You'll decide if you want to include a notification and or a glance scene. We'll include both just so I can show you what it looks like. You can think of the glance and the notification as being almost two separate applications because they provide two separate user interfaces and along with the main user interface that you're going to provide. If you open up the couple of files here, you'll see the Countdown Watch Kit extension because I told you the extension is going to sit on the iPhone itself. So we'll have our three files here. And here's the Countdown Watch app. And there's the interface storyboard because this storyboard, the user interface, is going to sit on the watch itself versus sitting on the iPhone itself. So if we take a look at this interface storyboard, you'll see that there are three user interfaces here that we can interact with. All three of them have that arrow pointing to them, which means that they will be the initial view, which means that we have three completely separate views here, which is a good way to think of it as you have kind of three completely separate apps. The glance view and the notification view are both there and then you have the main view. We can see how these are connected by clicking at the top. You can see their sort of view controller. Really what you're looking for is their controller. You can see that if you click on the main one, that's the interface controller. You can see that that's connected to the interface controller, which you can see here, interface controller.swift. They used NSLog instead of print line. Maybe that'll change when this is out of beta. Maybe there were Objective-C people writing this, but they actually had to write Swift because they were forced to. Who knows? Go back to the storyboard and you can see the glance controller. If you click in that title bar, you can see which file that's connected to. The glance controller is connected to glancecontroller.swift. And you can see, if you go back to the interface controller, you can see there's a static notification interface, which does not have a file associated with it currently, and the dynamic interface which has the notification controller.swift. You can click on that and see that code itself. Now, in order to be able to debug this, you have to create a separate scheme. Currently, you can debug it the way that it currently is, but the problem is, is that 
you have kind of three separate applications here. You have the, the regular interface using the notification and the glance. The glance being that read only, the notification being that you're sending the user a notification. And you want to be able to test them in their own separate situation. So you'll go to this up here, and these are the two schemes. Now you don't talk about schemes very often because you don't often have to, but you can click the watch apps scheme. See, this is the main app, like kind of the parent app that the watch app belongs to. If you click the watch app scheme, and from that you click edit scheme. From here you can click duplicate scheme. So instead of calling this copy of countdown watch app, we'll call this glance dash countdown watch app. So this will be the way to test this when you're dealing with just glances. So now if you go in here, you'll see that we have three. So we'll click on the countdown watch app again, and we'll click edit scheme so we can create one more. And we'll click duplicate scheme. And this one we'll call notification dash countdown watch app. So now you should see we should have four schemes one for just the glance, notification, and the regular watch app, and the main app itself. What we can do now is we can go to the glance apps scheme and click edit scheme. We'll click on run under info and for the executable we'll choose glance and we'll close that. For the notification one we'll click that. We'll click edit scheme now we have the notification one. We click the run, we click info, and under executable we'll click notification app, and we'll click close. So now it will execute the right application when we're trying to test these in their individual situations. The other thing to notice is that if you open up in the countdown watch kit extension under supporting files, you'll see there's a push notification payload.json. And when a notification comes to the watch app, it's going to come in this format. So we can create this sort of fake payload or this fake data that's going to come to the notification on the watch and we can play around with this data. You might be wondering how we're going to get the simulator for the iPhone watch. So what you do is you choose, let's say an iPhone 6, and let's say we choose the Countdown Watch app. Now you can't use your own iPhone unless you install the iOS 8.2, which is in beta. You probably don't want to do that right now. You'll click Run, or if you don't see this little Apple Watch simulator, what you can do is go to Hardware, External Display, and choose either one of the two sizes of the Apple Watch, which gives you a clue that there will be two sizes of Apple Watches to choose from. So let's get the watch to actually show something. We'll work with the, with the glance first. And the way that this layout works is a little more complicated, so I won't go into it right now. But what you can do is you can drag a label from the side and directly into the group. We can make this about this big for right now. This may or may not be the proper way to do this, but that's okay. We can hold control and drag this from our label to our glance controller. If you don't have the glance controller, you can always click this tuxedo up here. And that should bring up the glance controller on the right. And on Yosemite, I believe it looks like two circles instead of a tuxedo. And we'll call this hello label. And you'll notice that's a WK interface label. And we'll click connect. And in the will activate, so once the watch view controller is about to be visible to the user, we can say hello label. And you would think that it's text, but it's actually set text. And we can write, hi there, we can run this. And we'll see what happens. So on the left hand side, you can see that the watch now says hi there. So that's our first thing that we've printed to this watch. So what we can do in order to send notifications to the glance is we can use the delegate pattern and in order to do that, we'll go to our main storyboard of the main app, and we will add a button onto the screen, and we'll call it Go, and we will center it, and then we will add a center horizontally and center vertically. So now the Go button is gonna be in there, and to the view controller for that main storyboard, we will drag the go button 
let's say right here, and we'll insert an action. So a function that'll get called, and we'll say go clicked. So now go is going to be clicked right here, and we can make a property of the view controller called count, and we'll make it equal to 10 as an integer. What we'll do is we'll just say count minus minus. So every time the go is clicked, it'll subtract from count until it is zero, and we can do something special then. But the point is that we want to send a message to the glance. And we'll continue that in our next tutorial.